one of the things that we want to do is we want to decontaminate surfaces. So this is kind of like an afterwards thing, right? After, you know, between the smoke, the toxic fumes, anything that could be done, we want to make sure that vehicle surfaces and clothings that came in contact with the oxidizer or even the smoke from the oxidizers are cleaned immediately with copious amounts of water. We don't want these kinds of materials jammed in on us, mainly because think about it like this, right? From a firefighting point of view, our PPE is more than likely going to be bunker gear. Obviously, there's exceptions, right? Chemical physical properties always takes precedence. But now I've got this oxidizer material loaded into my bunker gear, which is already packed with carbon-based fuel. And now I could later be going into a hot environment. So now I've got an oxidizer, fuel, oxygen, and heat all on my person. That absolutely could be a bad idea. So any kind of oxidizer incident that you go to, clean your freaking gear the moment you can. The hazmat guys, quite frankly, they have the best training out there. Everybody says so. Tremendous courses, fantastic trainers. Let's make hazmat training great again.